Hola familia, that guy Ralph, third favorite YouTuber, with the new video, Monday's video, review time. So, for this week, it's going to be Batman Ninja. Alright, and to start it off, dad joke. I'm going to keep it ninja style. So, what do ninjas drink during the summertime? Karate. <laughs> uh, I like that one. It's funny. It's funny. Okay, so Batman Ninja. Started off, I'm gonna do my rating, and then I'm gonna do what I like and what I don't like. So my rating for Batman Ninja, the animated movie from DC. I will give it a six out of ten. Yeah, 6 out of 10. I know it sounds like a super low number, but I'm actually going to get to it. But I just want to start what I liked first. What I liked, a lot of, some people might find an issue, but I actually enjoyed it, was the different anime styles throughout the movie. Like, they changed up the artist. I actually liked the way that looked, because I felt like they was really trying to appease by a lot of different anime fans. And also show, like, different sides. So it was cool to see like each part of the movie with a different style. Another thing I liked was I thought it was different. Um, like they didn't just do like an else world theory. It was the whole story was pretty much about Gorilla Grodd making a time machine, and they ended up going back in time, landing in Japan, and they were going to reshape the whole world starting from that time period. Actually, that was a little different. And I think that was a pretty cool way to look at it. And not too bad at that. Uh, what else did I like? I like that they incorporated as many Gotham characters as possible inside the Japanese, uh, in the Japan world, I should say. And uh, what else did I like? Yeah, the anime. Um, I liked how a lot of twists they had. Like, uh, one minute you think Gorilla Grodd is going to help out uh, Batman trying to get out back in the city, and then he doesn't. Then one minute you think Joker was, like, cured or amnesia or whatever the hell it was. And actually he hypnotized himself and snapped back into it. thought that was pretty cool. Uh, overall, it was meh. That's why I say six. Uh, six because I've seen worse. But, now I'm going to tell you what I didn't like. Uh, I liked the artistry. Uh, the story seemed kind of cheesy. I, I liked that they incorporated as many Gotham characters as possible. I just didn't like that the way they incorporated. I'm kind of like, oh yeah, they was around when it happened. Oh yeah, they was around when it happened. Like the way every, even like Alfred ended up in there. Because apparently that same night that the whole like time machine exploded and went back in time Alfred was driving a Batmobile that was kind of cheesy um what else it was kind of bland at times like it was kind of like slow moments kind of like eh and but overall what I didn't like about the story itself and just the movie was I felt like it didn't feel like a Batman movie not because it was ninja but because I felt like they took away a lot of aspects that makes Batman for example he first lands in Japan and he seems confused like, he didn't know what he was reading. But in reality, Batman knows a lot of languages. Uh, it's like small details like that I picked up on. Or he was like, I gotta learn the way of the ninja. Like, this man didn't, like... In the comics, he's mastered... Uh, was it uh, over 124 uh, different martial arts styles? You would think ninja would be one of them. And I just felt like they watered him down a lot. So it didn't feel authentic to me. Um, what else I didn't like... I, I found it weird that they created like, this big like Batman out of monkeys and bats. Uh, I thought it was like visually like cool to see because it felt like an old style like Batman art, but it was weird like just weird. It didn't make any sense. Um, also, how is it that he's a savior of the whole world of Japan and he just you know went back in time? It's kind of like Batman was meant to go back in time at that period, and I just felt like that was kind of like strange um what else i liked uh one thing i did like was they incorporate like gorilla grod you got to see like all the batman villains but what i didn't like either was the gap time when he landed uh 
Like, for example, you saw Bane. Bane was a sumo wrestler, which makes sense because in Japan time, he would be a sumo wrestler, not a regular, like, luchador type look. Um, but made me wonder because he technically went back in time. So how is it that his whole style changes? Same thing with Deathstroke. I feel like Deathstroke is probably one of the best martial artists in uh, DC Universe. And I felt like in that movie, it watered him down as much as it watered down Batman. There was a lot of things like Miss Opportunity that you can do with Batman Ninja. And I felt like they dropped the ball. They focused so much on like the Joker being... And that's another thing too. Like, like I said, uh, Joker's not my favorite. I don't dislike him. I just He's not my favorite. Um, but there was so much missed opportunity with the whole concept that they dropped the ball, in my opinion. I felt like they could have done way more. Like, Deathstroke and Batman could have been, like, the top two samurai ninja people or something, and they dropped the ball on that. Uh, that's one thing I really didn't like. But I gave it a 6 out of 10, uh, mainly because I can't give it any higher. I feel like giving it any higher is not worth it. I didn't want to say anything lower than a 6 because... I did enjoy it. I saw it like three or four times just to see how I felt about it. And it's a fun movie. It's just, that's all it gets. It's a fun movie. There's a lot of like holes inside that movie. I just was like, uh, little bland for me. I'm not a really big anime fan either, but I don't think that is what made me disconnect from it. It's just a lot of missed opportunity with that movie. And I felt like they should have fixed that a little bit. Overall, I do recommend... As I always say, for you guys to see it so you can get your own take on it. I am not a movie critic, nor am I like a comic expert. I'm just a guy who reads comics, you know, as on my spare time and passing time and something that I like to do. And I'm giving my opinion, especially like on movies, storylines, whatever the case may be. But don't, ta don't take my word for it. Don't think me giving it out a 6 out of 10 is going to make it negative for you to see i think you should make your own judgment and check it out for yourself and make your own uh rating but with that being said good night good morning good evening good afternoon when you're watching this enjoy the rest of your day remember it's that guy ralph your third favorite youtuber and please like comment share and subscribe uh, i can use the love my next goal right now i have a good schedule going a good flow and i feel confident so my next step now is to get 100 subscribers. So far, I'm like at 70 something. So if you can, please, very important, share my page as much as possible. Spread the love. Even if they're not in the comics, just force them to like my stuff. But that guy, Ralph, again, third favorite YouTuber. Rub your nipples and stay sexy, my friends and family. All right. Peace out.